My name is David Andre and this is my advanced ChatGPT guide. I split the guide into seven different modules. Number one, what even makes an advanced user? Beginners only know one to two features. Advanced users know every single feature. Beginners never experiment. Advanced users try everything. Beginners have shallow understanding of the features. Advanced users constantly limit test. They push the AI to its real true limits and they know what it's capable of. Setup. Beginners use the default setup. Advanced users personalize the setup. Beginners never visit the settings. They don't they have no clue what they look like, what's even in there. Advanced users know the settings intimately. Beginners only use ChatGPT on the website, while advanced users use both web and mobile apps. Prompts. Now, this is a massive difference. Beginners write vague and unclear prompts. Advanced users write specific and crystal clear prompts. Beginners ask questions and advanced users give commands. Now, this is huge. I'll explain this in a bit. Beginners use other languages and advanced users use English only. Now, I'll also explain this later on. So if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Beginners often zero shot. Advanced users provide good examples. Learning. Beginners assume he knows it all. Advanced user constantly seeks new information. Beginners repeat the same mistake over and over. So let's say some prompt yielded bad results. A few days later, beginner uses the same exact prompt, while advanced user remembers what failed and learns from it. Beginners give up after one prompt. Advanced users always try multiple prompts before considering, you know, the AI can't do it. Beginners blames the AI tool, says like, ah, oh, GPT-4 isn't smart enough, while advanced users assumes the prompt was bad, maybe it wasn't clear enough, maybe it lacked context, but doesn't jump to the conclusion that the AI can't do it because a lot of times the AI can do it. You just don't know how to ask it. Module number two, common mistakes that people make, not knowing prompting basics. Now, you don't have to write every single prompt in a structure. Act like a role and then I need training lessons. I need someone to teach me Python. You will. What will the AI do? In the process, you should and details, please enter exclusion. So please don't include fish, whatever. Again, you don't have to use all of these, but you have to understand them. Input the final result in format. So you can do bullet list, table, you can do paragraph, you can do CSV, HTML, code blocks, like there's so many formats and you give it relevant examples like at least five, seven. And if you know this structure, your prompts will instantly become better. So many beginners don't even understand this, how LLMs work. And this is the simple explanation. LLMs are trained on data, which is usually text. Then the second sentence is the most important one. They predict the next word. And this is all the AI models do. You might be wondering, okay, but David, how are the models so smart? Think about it. In order to predict the next word really, really well, you need to develop an understanding of the language, of how people think, of how they write. All of that intelligence is almost a side effect in the pursuit of predicting the next word really well. Having beta features off, this is a very quick one. Just, you know, go into the settings and enable beta features because anytime OpenAI releases a new feature, you will instantly have it enabled. Not using keyboard shortcuts. It's more of like a laziness, but honestly, this will save you so much time if you learn it. The one I use the most is definitely Control shift i Open new chat is huge as well. Control shift o Focus chat input. Admittedly, this one I need to use more myself. And copy last response. This is also huge. Not understanding tokens. ChatGPT doesn't write words. It writes rights in tokens. So it's actually next token predictions. Token is basically three fourths of a word. So 100 tokens is roughly 75 words. In the API, you get 128,000 token window. But inside of ChatGPT, and people have done many testing on this, it's still 32k only. And this is actually a nice visual way to see how ChatGPT sees the text. So as you can see here, we have like large language model trained. All the words are one token. But look at ChatGPT or GPT-4. That's four different tokens, even though it's half the length of architecture. This is because ChatGPT is still a new term in the grand scheme of the internet, right? Now, ChatGPT is not Google. In Google, you might say dinner recipe to search websites that have dinner recipes. But in ChatGPT, that's a terrible prompt. Talk to ChatGPT as you would to another person. You need to provide context and need to be specific and make it as a command and use English only, man. This is the distribution of language on the internet. And as you can see, the second most popular language is 11 times less popular than English. Now, this has massive influence on the training data, obviously, which has been proven on benchmarks time and time again that the language models are actually smarter in English than in other languages. Now, don't ask questions, give commands. Basically, if you ask a question, you give the language model the chance to say no. If you ask, can you please format that as a table? No is much more likely of an answer instead of if you say, format it as a table and give it to me. No is like much more combative and socially what would be acceptable to say in that situation. And that's exactly the representation of the text on the internet because that's how people interact. And that's what the AI train and learn from. Also, use multiple prompts for complex 
tasks. Don't make the AI do everything at once. It's fine if, if the task is short and simple, but either way, you should still do step-by-step -step reasoning. But for longer tasks that are more complicated, the AI will perform poorly. Yeah, the reason is very simple. It just doesn't give each step enough tokens. Now, another mistake is zero shotting. In other words, not providing any examples. YouTube titles, like this is huge. If you say, I'm making a video about this and that, give me five titles. The titles are going to be terrible. But if you give it 10 really solid titles and say, give me 10 more titles in a similar format, it will be night and day. Ignoring the context window is another huge mistake because the longer the chat is, the less uh, the AI will remember. After 32,000 tokens, it will not remember anything. It's outside of the context window. Again, if, if the prompt is short, it doesn't really matter. But this is advanced ChatGPT tutorial, so I'm assuming you want to step your game up. The most essential stuff, the most important instructions in your prompt needs to be at the start or at the end or in both. You can just duplicate it. And also, this is why including irrelevant information can greatly affect performance. Not using the voice feature on your mobile. This is super common. I mean, not enough people use this. If you go on your phone and hit this button right here, the headphones, you can chat with ChatGPT through voice. You don't have to type anything. You can just speak. Honestly, like the first time you use this, this will blow your mind. You also need to put this widget on the lock screen. This widget saves so much time. Anytime I'm on a walk or whatever, and I get these random questions, right? So like, what do ants do in the winter? I click this icon and within a few seconds, I'm already getting the answer instead of having that question in my head and then it occupying my mental space, my mental context window, right? Dude, this is a super common beginner mistake that people don't take seriously enough. So many of the other mistakes come from the fact that you're a beginner. You don't use ChatGPT enough. You don't have enough experience. Like the first few times I played chess, I got scholar made it 10 times in a row or whatever before I learned the scholar made. So go into your Chrome settings or whatever browser you use, go into appearance, and change the default homepage to ChatGPT and set it as a homepage. So every time you open a new tab, it opens ChatGPT automatically instead of Google. And just by doing this, you will become a lot better. This is one of the most important tips you can do from this video. Some more mistakes that people make, trusting ChatGPT blindly, especially if you're talking about something important, sharing private and sensitive information is a bad idea. Not only because OpenAI will train on them, even if you have ChatGPT+, they will train on them and it will be in future models. So all your deepest, darkest secrets will be in future AI models. Personally, I don't want that. But you have to assume leaks. You have to assume OpenAI getting hacked. Once that happens, which it inevitably will, all of your information will end up on the dark web and it will be for sale for a couple of dollars. So do you want that? Another mistake is asking for words, like write me a 60 word song. Can you guess why this is a mistake? Well, the answer is obvious. It's because ChatGPT uses tokens, so it has a really hard time counting words. This resulted in a 51 word. Well, actually, if we remove verse and chorus, that's 49 words. Like imagine you're in school and the teacher says, give me a 60 word song and you turn in 49 word song, like that's instant F. Now, those were the first two modules of this advanced ChatGPT course. To access the next five modules, ChatGPT+, whether it's worth it, custom instructions, how to write them and see my own custom instructions, GPTs, how to build them and how to master the GPT store, OpenAI plugins and other third party plugins. To get access to these five modules, join my community, which is linked in the description. Now, who is it for? Well, it's for people who don't want to sit on the sidelines and just watch the AI revolution happen. It's for people who actually want to do something about the AI revolution and and be a part of it. If that sounds like you, then make sure to join. First link in the description.